how we doing everybody i just want to take a minute this morning and uh talk about a few things talk about why a crappie jig is my favorite crappie bait in the world there's not another bait that i would rather use i'm telling you now Minnows, yeah, I carry minnows every every time I go. I ain't gonna lie, that's just the way I was raised. My grandfather said, "Don't ever leave the bank without minnows." You never know. <clears throat> Until this day, I don't leave the bank without minnows, if at all possible. But anyway, here's a few jigs we got uh, for a commercial client of ours that we're getting ready to send out. Y'all may hear some clicking in the background. Don't worry about that. <clears throat> anyway, hope it don't bother y'all. So look, I want to talk about why a crappie jig is one of it. No, not one. It is my favorite daggum way to catch crappie. All right, we're going to do an example here, y'all. You have, crappie are very sensitive, all right? They're very finicky. We all know that. On a crappie jig, uh, you have many different color combinations to catch that crappie's eye, right? That is what I love about a jig so much. So let's count here. You got the head color, you got a thread color, you got the body color, you got a tail color, and you got the hook color. All right, so what is that? That is five different colors to catch that crappie's eye, to catch his attention. That ain't counting the flash, uh, the flash that you have hanging out here, you see that pearl? That ain't counting that flash there. And on some of them, <clears throat> well, just like this one here, look, we got flash on the back too, y'all. That is why I love a crappie jig, y'all. You have so you have five, you have at least five different colors to attract that bite in one little bitty jig, y'all. One little bitty J, right? So, and like I say, sometimes I can't get on a bite on jigs. So that's when we go to the all trusty minnow, y'all. A lot of people, you know, they don't like minnows. They don't want to fish with minnows, whatever. That's their business, all right? Me personally, I'm a jig fisherman, but I'm not. I'm not against fishing with a uh, with a minnow, all right? Last video, I told y'all I do not use one of the threaders for my bobbin. I, I had a couple of comments last night, yada, yada, yada. I'm going to show y'all the way that I do it, okay? You see I'm not using a threader. I pull me out about six inches of the string, y'all. <clears throat> I get the tip wet, okay? I start feeding it through my bobbin tube, right? You see me just feeding it through, y'all. Now, this is where it's finna get y'all, but this is just my way of doing it. Look, I feed it up through there. Oop. And I know that's probably not, y'all are not gonna do that. You see me just suck that thread straight up through there. I'm a, germ, a germaphobic, y'all. Everything I got here is clean, I promise you. I, am, I cannot stand germs, everything's gotta be clean. So everything that's on my desk is 100% clean. I got just a minute this morning. Look, I got a busy, busy, busy day. We're going to make a jig that mimics the minnow, y'all. We're going to start with a <clears throat> with a 1-8 silver head, y'all. Silver wedge head. Gray thread, y'all. Gray thread, okay? Danville gray. This is waxed thread, okay? I apologize if I ain't talking, you know, like I normally do, but I'm telling you, I got a super busy day today. And uh, I just wanted to kind of talk about why this crappie jig is my favorite. You cannot beat it. That is, in my opinion, that is the daggum best bait in the world for a crappie because you have, like I say, five or more different combinations there that you can catch that crappie, you know, that catches attention, you know. All right, red hook, silver hand, blue thread, y'all. That's three, right? 
That is three right there. Bam. Right, we're going to make this thing flashy, but we want it to kind of mimic a minnow in the water, y'all. All right, so we are going to use... I thought I had some already cut up. Let's see. We're going to use white polar fiber, white synthetic fiber, whatever y'all want to call it. I, I do get a lot of feedback. That's why I started posting, you know, where I get it, what, you know, different places call it different things. Yada, yada, yada. Just synthetic bucktail. Uh, we're going to use white. For everybody, this being their first video, go back out and check some of my other videos out. I explain every step in detail. And normally I would on this one, but like I say, I'm in a hurry and I apologize. This video is more about why a crappie jig is my favorite, favorite, favorite way to catch them bad boys. <clears throat> All right? It's not about building the jig. Okay? I do have a bunch of tutorials step by step by step on building these jigs. And anybody's got questions, hey, all you got to do is reach out to me and we can talk about it. Leave me a comment and I promise you I will return it, all right? <clears throat> so, what are we wanting, guys and gals? We are wanting this to mimic that minnow, right? We want that flash, all right? We are not going to forget, this right here is flashy boo, just a different style. It's sort of like it's braided, okay? We want to mimic that minnow, y'all. I know I'm saying it and saying it and saying it, but I can't say it enough. A lot of people, uh, a lot of people do not like jigs and will not fish with a jig, all right? I'm trying to draw attention and get people to see, hey, look. Crappie jigs the way to go, y'all. I'm not kidding you. I got buddies of mine that will not touch a crappie jig. They hate them. All right? <clears throat> I try to give them crappie jigs. Give it to them. They won't touch them, y'all. But, hey, everybody's different. You know what I mean? Anyway, so look. How many different colors we got right there, y'all? I see five different colors right there, right? <clears throat> One being the head. Two being the hook. Uh, three being the thread. Uh, four being the tail. Five being the blue flash. Oh, actually, whew, six being the flash on top. Uh, now, oh, Lord, we ain't even got to the guy's dang body of it yet, y'all. Uh this right here is not very thick, so I do, I'm not going to strip it back, all right? As you can tell, you can see the thread in this Chanel. Normally, y'all know that I strip it back. It just depends on the thickness of that Chanel, all right? Here, I'm just tying it off, y'all. I do not use any adhesive. You may see a thousand other jig builders on YouTube that use adhesive. I do not use adhesive. I got jigs that's been in my boot. Matter of fact, I got some that's been sitting out there in the rain trying to dry for a week. All right, I've got jigs that's been in my boat for six months. I use every time I go fishing. And I don't have any problems, y'all. That's not saying that I won't have a problem one day. I'm just telling you right now, I don't like using adhesive. So that's just me. Everybody's different. Okay, so now, me, <clears throat> I like to build my thread up at the base of that head when I'm tying it off, y'all. That way, that gives me, or that gives that jig one more color <clears throat> to entice that strike, right? That's what it's all about, y'all, enticing that strike. And I apologize. Oh, I'm moving kind of slow. I slammed my daggum finger in a car door and my daggum thumb is hurting like a son of a gun, so it's hard to pick up crap and yada, yada, yada. So anyway, look, this is a whip finish. I have videos on the whip finish. 
I come, I mean, that's all I got videos that show it step by step and every other video I'll explain how I do it. This video here, let me, let me say it again. This is mainly focusing on why I think the crappie jig is the best, best, best crappie bait there is y'all. Okay. So now we are finished with that jig, right? Let's count y'all. <clears throat> Let's count how many different colors we have in this jig. First of all, let me get it so everybody can see it. All right. We gonna count. Everybody count together. We got the head, we got the thread. That's two, okay? Got a body. That's three. We got a flashy boo on the top. That's four. We got a feathers, polar fiber, that's five. Okay. We got a hook color, six. We got the blue flash, that's seven, y'all. Seven different colors in that one jig that can attract that crappie's attention, can attract and tie the bite, y'all. That's why I believe the crappie jig is by far the best jig, I mean, the best bait to go after crappie with, y'all. Look, I'm... I, I apologize for kind of rushing through this, not explaining, but this is not a how-to video. This is why I think the crappie jig is a way to go when you're crappie fishing, y'all. Look, I appreciate it for more tips, uh, tricks to learn how to build these um, jigs. Please join the Texas Cajun Outdoor community. I appreciate my followers. I appreciate y'all reaching out to me. Look, it may take a day or so, but I promise I will get back to you. Thank y'all for watching. Have a wonderful day, and I'll see y'all next time.